Very mossy. Ooh. Interesting kind of ferns are there. Stunning asymmetries, I tell you. These are fairly unusual ferns. I can't remember which type they are. They were arresting. I had to come back and capture a photo of them. And then we have a variation on the like a podium. These are too. I used to know. I've run into them elsewhere. Oh, this is just great. looks towards the northbound way and this looks towards the southbound way these strange cleaved rocks. Must have been a rock, rock drilling practice area or something.
Ah, another tr turn is coming ahead. And once again, the Commonwealth shows us how it's done. This must, ah yeah, we're rejoining the Morse Loop. Yet another bit of you are here going on. So this will loop probably along that pond area and reconnect with the Bay Circuit Trail back where I came from. Good Lord. <laughs> Best practices. This is what they look like. I mean, really, how difficult is it to get a few lag bolts, some plexiglass, a post, and a couple of bits of wood, maybe using some kind of router bit to make the deep indelible text characters. Really, how difficult is this? And yet, it would seem to be an insurmountable difficulty in quite a few of the places I've been through of late. Go Commonwealth. <laughs> Straight away. Towards the north and where we came. Towards the south and where we're going. A little turn. A little bend up. Would appear to be shag bar kickery or something like it. And another turn is in the offing. <laughs> and yet another charming indicator for the Morse loop, which we're evidently staying on. Doesn't really mention what this trail is, but it's probably a side trail. Oh, I see. So when you hit the Morse Loop here, you have an option of going over this thing if you're not really worried about following the base circuit. It appears to be following an esker back of some kind. And then the good old DCT has opted for the low road in this instance. And it looks like a good idea. 
this is kind of a cute little esker. I haven't seen one this small in a while. Maybe it grows further on. <coughs> but my journeys to all these places, a granularity of detail begins to emerge. And I get to understand just how extensive Esker creation was in the area. I used to think that they were sort of unusual, but you really find them just about everywhere. Once you're north of the sand areas. There's another lawn straight ahead and more strange cleaved rocks. <laughs> the cleaved rock phenomenon. I wonder what's with it. They seem to be... It's difficult to say with a dense layer of lichen and moss encrustation, but it seems to be some kind of... Yeah, it's some kind of granite underneath. granite that escaped being a yuppie's countertop. It's just out here being granite on the hoof, cleaving its own damn way without any help from stone artisans. Look at this, this is quite a long and straight stretch.